Okay, so here is the next step in this acetone melting styrene test. Here is yesterday's glow-in-the-dark sprue. Still got a chunk sitting up there, so that's not quite ready to go. But I want to pull out a hunk of this and see how flat I can get this down. I don't have any models nearby, so if this splashes again, I won't accidentally get any on a kit. Because I imagine this would probably just eat right through it, given the chance. You should also wear safety goggles when you're doing this. Because you don't want this splashing back in your eyes. And I've wiped down pretty good this dirty mat here. Hopefully it's good enough. And my idea, once we cap this, roller pin and roll. So what I want to do here is make a flat sheet, or as flat as possible, and it's very possible that this looks like it could work out. There's a couple thick spots in here, so I should probably let this go for a few more days. But all I want to do is get a few strips out of this so that I can use it to back the mystery ship. It's too bad I can't throw flour on this to help it not stick to the uh, rolling pin. I think that's not too bad. Let's get the old exacto here. The piece I need can certainly be paper thin in some places. That doesn't matter. Or hopefully it won't matter. Let's see if I can roll this out a little further. I guess this is going to want to stick to the rolling pin. I bet there's some kind of something I could put on this to uh and I also bet further that once this is dry, it probably will fall off. But I want this to dry flat. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Actually, let's try this. Dip it back in the jar. Get it a little acetone-y. <laughs> goopy. I wonder if actually getting some acetone on the pin will help out. Yeah, so I might be able to get some strips out of this. This one might be better to do, though. Yeah, so I bet this sheet here is going to be really good. Turn that little chunk back in the drink. So I think out of this piece right here, I can probably get several strips that I'll be able to use to uh, reinforce the ship. I'll throw this bunch back in here. So by tomorrow, these wonton looking shapes should have melted back down. And I expect this strip should be solidified. There's definitely a lot of stick going on right here. I don't know if that's the acetone doing that or what. Let's call that good enough. I'm going to go wash this off and see if that helps. I figure while I'm at it, I may as well pull all this gunk out and put a bunch of new sprue in. This was a batch of gray. It looks like some of it was not natural gray, but enamel. Ain't that pretty? I should be able to see some of the uh, differences in colors better now, hopefully. So what I've been doing is kind of roll it out and then slice it into a couple chunks. Then spin these into a bunch of meatballs or plastic ones, I guess, in this case. So in a couple days, these will be all nice and solidified. By later, they'll turn into little cookie blobs. And this one's already starting to deform. And I think I got a batch of more ready to go. Goodbye, blue Star Trek things. So someone commented somewhere that I should chop these down into smaller pieces. That's certainly ideal. And uh, another thing is to get rid of any crossbars because that's what really gets this stuck when you're trying to jam all this in here. But if you take a snippers to sprue, it turns out it flies all over the place. So there's a bit of a chase going on. And so far, none of this sprue that I've cut has really wanted to simply snap. You really got to work at it to twist it around and get it to break. So there we go. Not quite full, but certainly stuffed up. I like to give it a nice swish around to make sure that everything gets a little acetone on it just to start the digestion process. And we'll see where this is tomorrow. And already these wonton shapes have already fallen back into uh, a pretty good mess right there. I don't know if these chrome sprue are really going to work. That'll probably just flake off. I got some gray and black sprue coming up. I got this clear sprue. I'm going to wait until all of this glow stuff is out of there because I don't want to potentially contaminate this with any colors. I think I still got a box of white sprue around somewhere. But everything's going. Yeah, so here already this guy is uh, 
starting to form a shape. So if you want to start making cubes, just flip them upside down. Then as they dry, these two are sticking together. Let's stop that from happening. And in no time at all, I'll have a nice big blob of really condensed styrene that used to take up boxes and boxes like this. And I'm glad to be rid of it. May as well get this on camera. Can't be more than a few minutes later. This is starting to solidify good, so I figured I'd try cutting it and see what happens. So once this is fully cured, it's going to be solid plastic again. So I'm thinking it might be easier to cut it before that happens. Or at least score it. And I think these are going to work really well. Glow in the dark styrene strips. And it turns out you can even give these much better stretch. These are a pretty uniform thickness, but they almost seem to be a slightly different density in some places. So you can't stretch them too much, I guess. Still melting even further. It's only been a few minutes, so no sign on this yet, but didn't expect there to be. But there will be. A couple hours from now, things will start looking gooey and bubbly. These guys continue to flatten out like pancakes. We'll flip them over yet again. And once they start sticking to each other, if they solidify like that, they will be stuck. As strong as any uh, styrene goes. We'll start cubing these now. So this piece won't be able to be integrated back in there. And just an hour later, the styrene is starting to bubble up and shrivel. And over here, these guys are flattening up nicely. And these guys are starting to uh, turn into solid sheets of plastic. They'll be good tomorrow. See you then.